Yeah. Yeah, well, it's uh, good to be able to talk to all the people that are going to be listening to this. Um, and the important thing is uh, that we are working together for the great creation and we would like to share it as much as possible with as many people as possible. Um, when we look at uh, the issues that we are facing nowadays, we find that um, there's a huge need for people to work together. And we're finding that there's more and more synergy and people getting together and doing things united in uh, looking after uh, things like we have uh, with the elephant, we, uh, Space for Elephant Foundation. Uh, I'm Diggs Pasco from the Space for Elephant Foundation. We worked hard on creating space for elephants wherever possible in the Transfrontier Parks and uh, uh, community development projects. We include our neighbors wherever we can in the project developments um, because we see that way as being the major, major way of getting our people in our country to share the, the need to look after the elephants and the rhinos which are so important part of our heritage. Um, uh, the objectives have been worked out very very carefully and strategically by our government. The uh, Department of Environmental Affairs have been very proactive in, in finding solutions towards the rhino poaching uh, issues, the strategies involved that we need to bring in to uh, make uh, the rhino population sustainable. We believe very strongly that the rhino population has to be a population of animals that actually are for their own survival. Uh, by legalizing the trade in the horn, um, we will be able to use existing stockpiles. We don't have to go into hunting or, or um, uh, destroying any animals to get the stockpiles. We've got enough. We've got enough stockpiles in our uh, reserves that will last us for 10 years. We don't have to hunt another rhino for at least 5 to 10 years and satisfy the, satisfy the existing demand for rhino horn, which uh, we will then get a, a regulated, uh, reasonable price for and then for the first time we'll have the rhino owners starting to earn something from their rhinos. Right now, the rhino, because of the CITES trade ban on rhino horn, it means that the uh, owner of the rhino, is, the rhino is actually worthless. The only value of the rhino is in bringing tourism in, and we don't have enough tourism. Uh, the poaching that's taking place is actually chasing tourists away from our country, which is a serious, serious problem. So we have to find a way to make the rhino sustainable in one of the most important parts of income earning for our country. We know that it's been done in the past. We will win this war. Whatever happens, we are going to win this war. We are going to make it very clear to the poachers that they are not wanted and we are not going to put up with the way that they treat our animals. It's cruel. They go through a lot of pain and suffering. And if we don't legalize the trade, the pain and suffering on, on the poached rhinos will just continue on for many, many years to come.